So me and Joe, we're back in the electrical workshop. I'm here with Captain Calculator. So come back now, mate. We're going to make another video. Yeah, I'd love to stay and make a GSH electrical video, but I've got a ton of electrical science and principles videos to sort out on Joe Robinson training. So I'm going to go and crack on, mate. I'll see you later. What's Joe up to? Joe, you're in a freezer. What are you up to? I'm just getting a drum of cable out of the freezer, guys. Ah. Why? Why? Well, it's to teach about resistance and resistivity. If, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there's a video on Joe Robinson training. Go and check it out. Got a dash. Let's go and find where Joe's going to. So what's going to happen if we remove the connection to L1? Well, the socket that's connected to L1 will go off. What's going to happen if I remove the connector that's linked to L2? Joe, what are you up to? I'm just demonstrating an interesting thing about three phase to explain how it works a little bit better. Okay. Um, so we've seen that removing these links will yep. actually take out the lamp that it's connected to. Okay. So what's going to happen if we remove L3? Okay, L3. So is that L1, L2, L3? Spot on. I'll go off then. So yeah. let's pull that one out. There you go. Nice. Goes that goes off. off. Yeah, we're cool. I like okay. that. That's so it makes sense because all of these are now wired back through this neutral conductor. Okay, cool. So what do you think is going to happen, obviously, when we remove the neutral from so, a circuit? So L1, L2 and L3 have yep. gone off individually. So yep. when I yank the neutral out, yep. watch this. This will be magic. All three will go out. There you go, that's magic. All three have stayed on. I'm really sorry, but I've got more footage to shoot. There's an explanation on Joe Wilson training. Oh. And so that's what happens when you max out the VA rating of a transformer. What are you up to now, Joe? Oh, I'm just doing a video on transformers. Actually, this one's really helpful for anyone studying on the 5357 or the 2365 sitting guilds courses. So I've just finished explaining how transformers work and voltage regulation and stuff. But I've got a dash, I've got more footage to shoot. There's a video on Joe Robinson training. Might be worth checking out that video on Joe Robinson training, but where's Joe going? So there's not really an immediately obvious relationship between the current in L1, L2 and L3 and the current that's flowing in the neutral. You can see there that when we Joey's look at that... absolutely roasting in here. What got all these heaters on for? Well, I've got these heaters on because I'm trying to explain how neutral currents can be calculated in three-phase imbalanced loads. It's one of the trickier things that we need to study when we're doing electrical science and principles. Uh, but the good news is there's a video on Joe Robinson training. I've got a dash, mate. I've got more footage to shoot. Is he the busiest guy that we know? Wait for me, Joe. I'm just heading to the classroom. I'm going to try and do some super hard math simply on the whiteboard. Head over to Joe Robinson Training on YouTube. There's worksheets available as well to help you out. So we've seen that the relationship between the neutral current and an imbalanced three-phase system is not one that's super simple. When what are you up to, Joe? I'm just explaining how three-phase currents relate to each other in an imbalanced three-phase load and how we find the neutral current. It's really interesting, actually, because we need to use a bit of Pythagoras and a bit of trigonometry in order to figure out what the neutral current's going to be. There's a few different ways we can do it, ranging from quite difficult but very accurate to slightly easier and very accurate. And actually, there's a whole range of videos on this very subject over on Joe Robinson Training. Got a dash, mate. Got to set up an experiment. Check out Joe Robinson Training. So here we've got three resistors connected in series with each other. And it's important that we understand how to calculate the voltage across those resistors because that's going to help us understand the volt drop that occurs in the circuits that we're installing in the real world. You've been a very busy man. What are you up to now? So I'm just doing an experiment here using the excellent Loctronics kit from Matrix TSL. Really nice bit of kit. And we're showing how to uh, measure, calculate, and figure out what the volt drop will be across resistors connected in series. Might seem a bit distant from the subject that we used to study in. Might seem a bit distant from the work we do on site. But actually, it's really, really relevant. And you can figure out why on Joe Robinson Training, my YouTube channel. Got a dash, mate. Got to go to the whiteboard again circuit becomes more and more inductive and then as it becomes more and more capacitive but what are we up to Joe? So I'm just explaining how resistors inductors and capacitors behave when connected to AC circuits what we refer to as AC theory but what gets really interesting is when we start to consider what happens to the power in one of these circuits this gets really fascinating but if you want to know a little bit more let me guess you can find out on Joe Robinson training absolutely got a dash oh. okay well actually that's a good job because the next thing is the most important all right, Joe, yeah. which one's mine? Uh, you've got the thimble. I've got the normal size mug, yeah. So just like I said, most important job this one. Having a cup of tea after a busy morning. Okay, so we've whistle stopped toward the Joe Robinson Training YouTube channel. Yep. What sort of courses will it cover? So we're looking at anything to do with electrical installation, also super helpful for electrical engineering courses okay. as well. But primarily we're focusing on electrical installation, City and Guilds, 5357 for the apprentices, okay. 2365 for the full-time learners looking across maybe even the 8202 for level one sitting guilds learners 
And also EAO learners studying on the level one, level two, level three electrical installation diploma. So you've pretty much got that arena covered with yeah. the videos that I can find on Absolutely. Joe Robinson Training's YouTube channel. Is that Absolutely. true? So my goal with Joe Robinson Training is, and always has been, is to take someone who perhaps is, doesn't know very much at all about electrical science at all, and to get them so that they're in a position to pass their exam, perhaps without even needing to sit the foot in the classroom. It's wow. there as a resource just to help you get to that exam and pass it successfully. So you're using your years of experience in the classroom in order to build yep. an online package almost with those playlists yep. that actually walks you through step by step yep. each stage of the syllabus, the yep. syllabus being what the teaching staff are following week by week yep. in order to progress towards maybe an online exam. Yep. Will it progress towards a written exam? Absolutely. Yeah. If there's an exam in there, I'm aiming to make sure that you've got the information covered so you can pass that exam. There's also worksheets available that go hand in hand with a lot of the videos. So there's always a link and you can download those and just fill it in and then watch an explanatory video helping you to understand the worksheet as well. Yeah, I'm just, the only thing that's confusing me about all of this is where would I find this channel? It's called Joe Robinson Training and it's on YouTube.